Well, hey up, guys. Uh, in the greenhouse. Um, not got much on today, so I thought I'd uh, do a little video. I didn't want to sit watching TV, so uh, I'm out in greenhouse. And I want to talk about, or show you, really, uh, my wormery. But first of all, just show you this lettuce that I put in when I got greenhouse. I think you've seen one of my videos after I put the greenhouse up, so... Uh, it's coming on well. I mean, I've been using it as pick and come again stuff, so they uh, just keep taking the leaves off it. And uh, same here, because these are the ones that are in the pots. Seem to do really well, and that size, you're ready for a sandwich, isn't it? Ready to go on a sandwich, just to say. Got my buckets ready for um, my potatoes next spring. Repotted my bay. Fed up of losing them, so now I've got greenhouse in the backyard, uh, somewhere to put it. Strawberries for next year. Leaves are dying back. Hope I don't lose any, but anyway, this is all what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, this is what I mainly fed my tomatoes on last year. Uh, there's a bit in the can, and that's all the worm tea or worm liquor whatever you want to call it so I'll just show you inside and what I'm going to do is um, I'm getting it ready for winter I've put, brought it into my greenhouse and I'm getting it ready for winter so uh, I'm I'm filling it with uh, shredded paper lagging it if you like so I've still got I've got some stuff to pour in it uh, some vegetable peeling so I'll just take the lid off you want something to cover it like a mat or I use cardboard, essian sacking will do. They'll eventually eat it away, but uh, you can't see any there. I'm just gonna take this layer off and show you the layer underneath. If I can press the layer it. underneath, you see little wrigglers in there. I did actually shoot this video a couple of weeks ago uh, on my camera before it died. Uh, got it on the tripod, um, but it died in the process, so uh, and I never posted it, so I'm going to try and post it again. Uh, it was good because in this area, I mean, you can see the white ones, but I'd got some bread, and uh, the little wrigglers, the baby worms, them the little white sticks, if you like, the white um, worms. It was just covered in them, and it's only been in about a week. The wood, the wood, the wood, the bread. So I just wanted to show you that. So you can see them up the wall. The white ones are the baby worms, and uh, so I'll just remove this one. That's and the bottom, my bottom bin, and that's full of worm castings. I mean, it's uh, how can I say? It's um, it's it's not what I keep the worm Marie for the worm castings. I keep it for all the, the fertiliser, the worm tea if you like, that I get from it. Uh, but the, the worm castings, I know some people put it in a big bucket, add water like you would to uh, if you're making a compost tea or, or a manure tea. Uh, because that's all that is in, in the watering can that I drain off. And I always keep the tap on, it's a little tip, keep the tap on and have something underneath it because uh, if it's outside like mine, it's all spring and summer and autumn, then uh, when it rains you do the water filter through it and that's how you get your worm tea, not only from that, not only from uh, the, the moisture that's in it already, but you get it from, from the rain as it washes through it, so it does wash all the nutrients into there, so, but I moved it last year and uh, forgot to turn it back on so it flooded that's why I was surprised when I opened it the other week and they were all them baby worms because they just reproduced again so that's quite uh, quite cool really so I'm just gonna make my last tray up and uh, show you how I do it right in my usual Heath Robinson style uh, what I do is um, you get some shredded paper and add and wet it. I shred 
everything I can to be honest. Junk mail comes through the letterbox, it gets shredded. Uh, so it's not junk mail to me. Cardboard, if it can go in the shredder, then I shred it. Uh, mine's quite good as it takes quite thick uh, paper and cardboard. Uh, and I, another tip is yeah, make sure you oil it regular. Um, that's the biggest killer of shredders because if you if you think about it when you shred um, and you empty the shredders paper out all that dust that comes off uh, it can clog all your um, workings of your shredder up so oil it regular I got a spray off of eBay I think it was about six quid uh, you can get paper from eBay that's already been covered in this oil and you just pour it through once you, you don't have to pour a lot of it on you just run it off if you do do that though empty it before don't don't use that to go in your compost bins or your wormery I mean I if you see that bag is probably a couple of months of shreddings uh, and I use it on my, in my compost on the, the allotment as well so uh, and me uh, in-laws bring me their shredders shreddings because uh, they'll just put them in bin and I, they know that I use them so anyway we start off got one here and because it's going to this is going to be the next layer so I put paper on the bottom I'm not saying this is how you should do it or this is how it's done what I'm saying is this is how I do it so it's not the uh, the uh, the way to do it it's just the way I do it I suppose as you can see, it's a Worm City. Uh, there's a plug for them. Worm City uh, Wormery, 100% uh, recyclable, made from recyclable plastics, made in the UK. So there's no long haul shipping. Uh, you, when it comes, it comes in a in a big box. I use the box to line the bottom of the first tray, assemble it, uh, and then you, you get a. A block of um, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's basically it's uh, like coconut husk. You get a block of that, you put that in water. Uh, you get a bag of worms and a bag of food. Now I've still got some of the food, so because I'm making this new one up, I will add some of the food that I got when I received. I've had this wormery two years, so I will uh, use some of that uh, to add to it. So I'll move this over. filming this on my phone so please forgive me and just put all I do is put an even layer across the bottom <laughs> damp shredded paper uh, if you put the wettest you, the stuff is you put in the more worm tea you're gonna get out uh, so it's up to you what you I mean there's no hard and fast method I don't think anyway. Uh, I've only, like I said, I've only had this wormery two years, so I guess I'm still a novice with it. I'm not nowhere near an expert, and I won't claim to be. So, so that's a layer of uh, shredded paper. Now I'm going to put some. Uh, okay, it's my battery telling me it's running low. I'm going to put some. Um, vegetable peelings and whatnot in and a bit of food so if you just let's put the uh, paper sticking to me all over put me vegetable trimmings in I don't think that'll rot that's the top of a carrot and that'll break down it take too long that uh, so this is the food I've got I've got quite a bit left so what I do is just sprinkle some of this uh, over it and they do like this so it encourages them up here I think anyway could be wrong uh, well I just sprinkle this on and try and uh, encourage them to come up into this they will it will take a while though because uh, they're, they're going through that that middle tray at the minute so uh, 
Right, that's tray one, that's tray two. So they, they've started to work on tray three. Go on there, look. I don't want him away. Get in there. So, we'll take a while, but also, it's in the greenhouse. Last year I left him outdoors. They did, they did okay. The year before they were in uh, my coal house. Uh, but I've uh, got bikes and stuff in there now, so at the moment they're gonna they're gonna have to come in here. And I'm hoping that we've been a bit warmer in here than uh, outside and coal house. Hopefully, uh, they might carry on uh, producing um, compost. So uh, what I do with my compost, I should say, um, last year I put it uh, in just underneath the roots of my tomatoes. And I mulched the top of my tomatoes uh, with the worm compost as well. Uh, I was pleased because um, a lot of people had problems, as you might, with irregular water in the tomatoes. And they either you get um, blossom end rot, which is uh, where the bottom of the tomatoes go black because they're not getting uh, enough water. Also, if you're watering too much, they split. Well, last year, the first time I used this compost, this worm compost, um, in my tomatoes. And usually I get my fair share of blossom and rot and, um, and splitting. But I didn't have any split, really. If towards the end I did, when I started knocking water enough. Uh, but there weren't many left, there weren't many tomatoes on there. But blossom and rot, I mean, I've, for the past few years, I've suffered quite badly with it. Uh, because we British temperature, one minute it's up, it's, uh, it's really warm. Next minute, it's cold, it's rain, it's overcast. So, I mean, I've struggled. But, last year, I must say, I think I only had about four or five tomatoes that had blossom and rot. So, that is a massive, massive improvement for me anyway. So, uh, I mean, it's not cheap to buy a wormery, but I must admit, people at Worm City, I spoke to them on a, a gardening forum that I visit on the grapevine, and uh, they're ever so helpful. And uh, I got got some discount, and because I bought mine in the sale in uh, January, I think, I think I ordered it off eBay, or... It, or uh, it might have been Amazon because they've, they've got shops on both of them uh, and they still gave me the discount even though they were in the sale so fair dues to to Worm City and that's probably why I'm giving them a bit of a plug uh, so that's it really so that's that's it covered up and all I'll do is I'll take that sheet of card put it on there and put that on there so I'll do that and then uh, I'll show you so that. that's, how it goes. that's it back on so that's it really uh, I'm gonna have another hour or so in the greenhouse let's look at it that's uh, you see that 2.8 last night so it weren't weren't very cold really and we're, at the moment we are 10.9 if we can pick that up I've uh, been giving these, there's two in here. Uh, blow quite a lot, but we're binning them. Uh, Blue Star Dave will know what they are. Uh, Kathan, K I can't say it, Kathans. So he's giving me two yellow ones. One's a poppet, no, one's a pom pom, and the other one's like a, a daisy. So uh, if you have some cuttings, so I'm just going to brought a pot, two pots from a lot, and I'm going to plonk them in. Just keep them moist. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next half an hour. Uh, I might take some of these dead leaves off and chuck them in wormery. That's where the gun are. So that's it really. Cut grass yesterday. Uh, for me, uh, managed to get it done. A little trick I saw. Uh, one of old blokes on the lawn were telling me. So I was saying uh, my back lawn could be doing. Could do we being uh, cut. Uh, well, not a lawn really. I don't cut. I don't cut it short or anything. It's just a patch of grass. And he said uh, he he's got one of them witches brooms. I forgot what they call them. And uh, he brushes his in the morning. 
gets the dew off it and then it's uh, after dinner it's cuttable so I got the sweeping brush out and I get it a good sweep uh, I think it was Saturday morning I did it and uh, Saturday just before tea I think about half past three came back and it was dry enough to cut so bonus so I've cut that compost bins full um, and uh, took another bag down to allotment and topped me uh, compost bins up there I've finished them by the way I have I've covered the uh, manure one and I've put a lid on the uh, the compost that is this year's so I should keep most of the heavy stuff off it looks like weather's going to change uh, back end of next week uh, this week they said we're going to get some some typical December weather so I'm expecting some hard frosts and uh, battery Sorry about that folks uh, my battery went so I've uh, recharged my phone battery and uh, so uh, yeah that's it then um, I didn't read Potter because I went to my compost bin and uh, where, where I keep my compost and it was empty so they were bitty bottom and it got a bit of um, funny looking stuff on it I don't know what it was but it was white and it didn't look healthy so I've dropped that in my compost bin so I'm going to have to scratch around and get some compost uh, I've got I've got six bags in me shed on allotment but uh, don't really want to um, use that because it's for me shallots and that in, uh, beginning next year um, I'm debating I might not grow any onions this year I've got some winter onions in next year I should say um, I've got some winter onions in but um, they didn't do too good last year and to be honest the shallots I've grown from seed have been fantastic so uh, we've used them a lot more than we have um, onions so uh, I think I'm good I might just get two lots of onions and just go with that to be honest so anyway that's it and um, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video Hopefully my seeds should be here then, so I'll, I'll do a little uh, run through of what I've uh, bought and what I've got left in my tin. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching again and uh, I shall see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.